For practice it, self-check 5.27, assertion 1. We are given the following code, and we are asked for each of the five points labeled by components, identify each of the assertions in the table below as being always true, never true, or sometimes true slash false. So when we, when we look at these boxes, we're going to look at the points, and then we're going to look at this condition that we're given. So we will look at the first column and we'll go column by column. So for our first column, we have point A and we have Y has to be less than X. At point A, this is sometimes true because um, Y is equal to console.nextInt and we are passing in the console and int x. So our console right here, the first int could be zero and x could be seven. So this could be sometimes true because the same way could go but in reverse where console is seven and int is x, so that's sometimes. Next for point b, if we're in this while loop, we notice that this condition is the same as the condition we're given here. So this always has to be true. For point c, we are still in our loop. So the point c um, has to be true because we haven't changed our y. For point D, console.nextInt can, um, after, we, after we have this line of code, it changes to sometimes true because we are not dealing with the same integer. We are getting the next int and this int could be lower or I'm sorry, higher than our x value. So that's sometimes for point D. And then for point E, we have to break out of this while loop. And the only way to break out of this while loop is if our x is greater than our y. So this condition can never happen. So we have never. Next, we move on to y has to be equal to zero. For point A, this is sometimes true because if we pass in this console, the first int could be zero and the first int in our x could also be zero. So that's sometimes true. For point B, if our y is equal to zero and our x is greater than that, it would be valid here. So this is sometimes true because again, the y could be zero and x could be like a negative one. For point C, this has to always be true because we have this condition y is equal to zero. Once we break out of this if statement, we're back in our while loop and we have this code while is equal to console dot next int and this is sometimes true because the next int we don't know what it is. Lastly, when we break out of our while loop and we're returning count, y can sometimes be zero. If we break out of this loop where y is equal to zero and it's greater than x, that means we're no longer in this loop. However, y is still zero. But this can also be um, somewhat reversed well where our y is equal to, let's say two and x is still greater than or, or and, then, and x is negative one, so y is greater than two, but not zero. Or, I'm sorry, y is greater than x, but not zero, and x is less than y. So that means we would break out of this loop, and our y would be some number other than zero. Lastly, we look at this last column where count has to be greater than zero. For point A, count can never be greater than zero because we are initializing it to count, and then we are not doing anything with it until later on in our code. At point B, um, this is in our while loop. The first time we run our while loop, count can never be greater than zero, it will only be zero. However, we're running this while loop, or we can run this while loop multiple times. So what that means is that our um, count after, let's say, the second or third iteration of our while loop will be greater than zero. So this is sometimes. For part C, this is after we increment our count. That means it will be greater than zero. So this is always. For part D, um, this is sometimes true because we are not required to go in our if statement. In our if statement, in, in our if statement, it's the only place where we manipulate our count. So if we completely skip over our if statement and we just go to this part right here, we will never touch the count and so it will always equal zero. So this is sometimes. Lastly, at point E, for this same reason, it's going to be sometimes purely because we don't have to be in this if statement, so we don't have to manipulate the count, but we can, and it doesn't always happen, so this is sometimes. And these are all the correct answers for this problem.